Manchester United are being accused of covering up the assault or a number of assaults that Anthony inflicted upon his ex-girlfriend. Part of this accusation also includes them sending out the club's doctor and pl like player uh, support officers to the situation. If these claims are true, Manchester United are in a whole heap of trouble. This is also coupled with accusations today. Well, not even accusations. This is confirmed fact, as far as we're aware, that Manchester United made guest of honour at a game last year, a convicted ex-manager, they made him special guest at a match, despite being suspended for assaulting girls and being a convicted paedophile. He was guest of honour at a Manchester United game. Now, I love my football club with every single ounce of my being. This actually breaks me to read this, but I can't ignore it. I can't brush it under the carpet. And I pray to God that this all turns out to be lies. I pray to God, but my gut's telling me that it's not. When we look at the Anthony situation, by the way, look, I want you to share this video because I want eyes on this because it doesn't matter that it's my club. This type of thing shouldn't be happening in football. Please make sure you just subscribe as well. If you want to hit the like button, do so. But I know it's a very emotive subject, so don't feel like, you know, it's not like we're talking about a match reaction or a transfer. But I do want this video to get out there. I do want this video to be seen and hitting like buttons is important for that. It's claimed here that Manchester United dispatched a support officer to the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Manchester, where it is alleged that Anthony headbutted, slammed on the bed and jumped upon his ex-girlfriend. In doing so, dislodged her, uh, her breast implant in terms of that claim. Uh, she claims that uh, she needed to have reconstructive surgery and also suffered um, a cut on her head due to this attack. The claim also goes on to say that, and this is what's interesting, it says that United confirmed on Wednesday night that a member of staff arranged for a private doctor to visit um, Anthony's ex-girlfriend at Anthony's request, but denied that she was treated for any by any of the club's medical staff. Now, this is the thing. This is what I believe has happened here. When I read this, the club's probably telling the truth that the club's doctor didn't treat his ex-girlfriend. But his ex-girlfriend has no idea who the club doctor is, in my opinion. The club have still arranged for a doctor to go and see to her injuries. Where is the due diligence in this? Where is the due diligence? For all she knows, it's the club doctor. She has no idea. Do any of you know who the club doctors are? Would you recognize Man United's club doctors by face? I know you'd say, well, that's a, it's a wag and a closer connection to the... What are they going to know? It goes on to say it's understood uh, to be common that Man United's welfare team uh, to arrange for doctors to see partners and family members of players. United insists that neither the club um, or the support officer were aware of any of the allegations of assault against Anthony until they appeared in the Brazilian media in June. Right now, my gut's telling me they're lying. I'm sorry to say this. It's telling me they're lying. If you're getting a player, call a doctor to a hotel that late at night, where's the due diligence? You're asking questions. What's needed? Why has it happened? Surely. Now, look, you could say she's feeling unwell, X, Y, and Z, but you, if it was emergency, you go to hospital, right? You wouldn't call a doctor. I don't know about you guys. Maybe it's different where you live. Maybe it's different in your family. But if it's an emergency at two o'clock in the morning, you don't phone a doctor. You phone an ambulance. You go to hospital. Now, I understand there's going to be confidentiality. So Man United are probably unable to go to that private doctor and say, what did you treat her for? If they ask Anthony, Anthony's going to turn around and say, oh, she had a bad fever. I, I understand that. So I know Man United fans will latch onto this. But with everything that's happened with the Greenwood situation, I smell a rat. I either smell an element of this is being covered up or... There's just a lack of care and due diligence. Now, look, if Anthony turns out to be completely innocent in this circumstance, then I'll come back and say, I'm really sorry. But do you want to know why I'm not believing them? It's because of the surrounding stories. The way we handled the Greenwood situation, I think, has been an abomination. I've had time to really reflect on it now. This whole six-month investigation. They had 12 months to do the investigation when he was under caution. They could have done it then, right? They didn't need to wait for the outcome. They could have started then. 
all Man United have done is try to hold on to an asset. All Manchester United have done is, is to try and long it out as pos- long as possible so that he, to see what the back question would be like to return him. He's now gone out on loan. Between them and Graffiti, they're going to push so much PR to try and bring him back into the first team. They want him back. They don't want to lose the asset. They don't want to lose the player. The Glazers do not want to lose it. They've handled it horrendously. And then you look at a secondary story that's come out today, which is that Man United made a pedo manager. You know, I think he's even pronounced Jeff. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce his surname. I'm not going to try it. As a special guest at a match, despite him being suspended for assaulting girls. The article, when you read through it, goes on to state, and I want to read this out to you now here, that a Manchester United were, uh, were allegedly unaware that celebrated woman's coach uh, Jeffrey uh, was a convicted paedophile when they invited him to the club as a special guest last year. He was charged. He was in charge of Manchester United ladies team from 1983 to 2001. And he was sent to prison for, for four years in 2011 after being convicted um, of indecent assault, gross indecency against girls aged under 16 and 14. How are Man United not aware that a man that managed their women's team for nearly 20 years didn't, didn't, went to prison? How? Do you see why I'm struggling to believe the Anthony situation? Now, listen, even if Anthony hasn't done these things, there's still been altercations, there's still been arguments, there were still the injuries. Now, the injuries may not necessarily have been caused by Anthony physically abusing her. That is a possibility here. We shouldn't deny that. But do your due diligence. Make sure you're ready for this to come out. If Anthony is truly innocent, you acting like you knew nothing about it. Smells dodgy to me. Smells dodgy. But the f- you've got the Greenwood situation. Do you want to know what's really mad as well? Do you want to know what's crazy when you keep reading this article? It wasn't a men's game. They invited him as a guest to honor, a guest of honor to a woman's game. Insult. To injury. Not only do you invite a convicted paedophile to a game as a guest of honor, you bring him to a woman's game when he was convicted of abusing young girls. An abomination. Any Man United fan who is silent about this, you are complicit. None of us knew about this until it came out today. None of us, as far as I'm aware. But we can't sit here in silence about this. I want Anthony to be innocent. The biggest reason I want him to be innocent is I want there to have been no woman that has suffered the abuse that's alleged. First and foremost. But I don't trust this club anymore. I don't trust the Glazers. I don't trust this board. No wonder we fail on the pitch. We fail in the boardroom. This club is rotten to its core. And I've got many other gripes with the Glazers. The two odd billion pound they've wasted on rebuilds. The billions they've taken out of the football club. The rusting stadium the urine all over the floors in the toilets, zero upgrades to the training facilities. It's gone from the best complex in the country 20 years ago to one of the worst in the country at the highest level of sport. The debacle of a sales process, stringing the fans along, the botched, disgraceful handling of the Greenwood situation. Now the alleged covering up of the Anthony circumstances. And they have admitted involvement in terms of sending private doctors to these rooms to treat these injuries. And now the club inviting as a guest of honor, a goddamn pedophile to the games, a pedophile. People have made, maybe have different opinions about what I'm about to say. For me, it's the worst crime imaginable. Is the worst crime imaginable Period. Period. Guest of honor. 
Rachel Riley called this out the other day. She said, where is the due diligence? And I'm starting to believe it. When Sir Alex was, ran Man United Football Club, this man knew everything that was going on in Manchester. He, he had connections with doormen at nightclubs, people that owned hotels, doctors, nurses at the hospitals. He kept such a close eye on his players. Couldn't control everything they did. But where's that gone? Where is that dissipated to at this once great, and I repeat, once great football club? Manchester United is in, not just in the mud. The mud is too nice a place. They're, in a, they're, they're deep in a cesspool. And if it's true that we're covering things up for players, looking to bring Green, Greenwood back, inviting pedophiles as guest of honours, we're not even in a cesspool. We're in the lower levels of hell because that's where that behavior belongs. I'm disgusted. Disgusted. So many elements of my football club right now. I'm embarrassed to be a Manchester United fan. And you may not be. You may defend it. And I understand love does weird things. But we've got to call this out for what it is. This club is an absolute bona fide disgrace. The sound needs to happen. Fans need to force it because we need people running our club that we that, that, that love this club, that care about it, that want to take it back to the top. Not just on the football pitch, but how we behaved and how we're perceived, but perceived in a particular way because we're good. This club isn't a reflection of me anymore. It's a disgrace. It really is. I'm I'm broken. I'm genuinely 